Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. A few days ago, I did a video demonstrating how to get the dragon effect in Photoshop. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to get a similar effect using Lightroom. Now, the Photoshop method is more formulaic, meaning you do specific things in specific order and you'll get this effect. Whereas with Lightroom, it's a little bit more feel and it may vary from image to image. If you haven't seen that video I did on how to do this effect in Photoshop, I'll have a link to it in the description below this video. Now, as I mentioned in that video, it's my opinion that the effect is best used on older men uh, with, you know, weathered, grizzled faces. It seems to work best and I'll mention it again. Um, I'm not a real big fan of the dragon effect. It's, from, it's popularized by a Polish photographer named Andrzej Dragon, um, and a lot of people really like it. It's a really kind of graphic look, and we're going to do it to this image. Now, what I, you know, experimenting and trying to imitate the effect in Lightroom, what I found to do is try to make the image flat as possible to begin with. So what I found with the various images I tried it on is that if I take highlights all the way down and open shadows all the way up, it just kind of flattens out that image, right? Then you want to clip the whites and the blacks just a little bit. So hold the Option key on a Mac, Alt key on a Windows, click on the white slider, screen turns completely black, push that to the right until you see some clipping. That's the colors coming through. Just bring it up until you see a little bit of clipping. Now, of course, that's going to vary from image to image. So you'll have to experiment with that a little bit. Do the same thing for uh, the black slider. Hold the Alt Option key in. Click on the black slider. This time the screen turns white. We're going to move that to left till we see some colors coming through. We're clipping those channels. And then see what that looks like. And maybe we'll just add a little more. All right, so we did the tone now. Now we may come back in and readjust exposure and or contrast. But what I'd like to do now is jump right down to clarity and texture. I'll start with clarity and I'll start moving that to the right. And you can see we're really starting to bring that look out on the man's face. Similarly with texture, move that to the right. And you can see now we're getting that effect really strong. It's really strong graphic, effect, graphic look to the man's skin. And you can see I have those sliders like way up. Now, vibrance and saturation, what I found to work best to kind of give it the look is to move vibrance a little bit to the right and move saturation a little bit to the left. And you'll kind of get that look, that kind of odd color that happens when you use the dragon effect. Um, so do that. Then, um, if you need to, jump back up to exposure and contrast and touch that up. Like in this case, I think maybe I just want it a little bit darker. So I'll move contrast down, or I'll move exposure down. And then I'll just kind of move this contrast around, see which looks best. I think to the right a little bit. And you see how we're starting to really get that effect strong. If you look, if you Google dragon effect and look at some of the image, images uh, that had that effect applied to it in Photoshop, you'll often see the area like uh, the nose under the eyes and and the eyes themselves kind of brighter and that's what we have here and that's how you kind of get that effect finally uh, jump down to detail and you may want to zoom in or use the loop up here and kind of drag it in to an area you know something like that somewhere where you're you want it really sharp and then move the sharpness amount slider or sharpening amount slider to the right if you have noise in the image of course you could zoom right in and remove noise as needed. And then finally, um, go to the effects and add a vignette, uh, just a dark vignette, kind of just, again, gets everyone's attention looking more towards the man's face. So there's before and there's after. So you could see how we have that kind of dragon effect look using a photo or using Lightroom, I'm sorry. The key is, is to make it flat to begin with by moving Highlights all the way down, shadows all the way up. Then clip the whites a little bit, clip the blacks a little bit, add a lot of texture and clarity, and then move vibrance up and move saturation down. And all that is by feel. Uh, so you could kind of get that look. 
So that's it. That's the uh, my way of trying to achieve that dragon look using Lightroom. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.